Hello everybody, I'm back again with my 17 Grom and I decided to make a few more upgrades to it. Well the one that I want to talk about today is the Chimera Cold Air Intake. This. Okay, I really like it, good quality. I think it's going to do really well. The only problem is, is when you start bolting everything back together, you have these fairings on the side here and you have the outer fairings. Well, when you remove the factory air box, you lose all of your support for this and that. But what they do is they give you this rod and this rod is supposed to support, supposed to go from one side and to the other and then you use that bottom hole right there and you take an M5 bolt and you screw into there. Well. Uh, from the factory air box, the factory air box is bolted right there on both sides. And I will show you, here's the factory air box right here, right there, that's where it's bolted at. Well, they have provisions for the side fairing right there and right there. And it kind of, everything is sandwiched together and supported. Well... With the rod, and after you get everything buttoned back up, these fairings, they will still, they float back and forth just because you're no longer bolted to the frame, so to speak. So what I decided to do is I thought there has to be a better way. I, I'm just kind of anal about this. Um, so what I did is I took the factory air box and I thought, how can I reutilize the factory air box so I can get everything to fit back in in the corresponding holes like it's supposed to rather than uh, taking a rod. And I don't know if you noticed, but the rod is too long, so it spreads apart the fairings. And then nothing fits right again. So what I did is all I'm using this air box for is just support. So what I did is I cut out, I kept cutting until I was able to get the bottom portion of the Canon filter to fit in there without rubbing. So now I'm able to sit this in there and now I can utilize every, the factory mounting points and still use the Chimera Cold Air. So what I'll do, I'll try to set it in there and kind of give you an idea the way it is. So uh, I'm gonna do this one handed so just Kind of excuse me for a minute. I am caught on. Okay, where are we at here? I need to go around to the other side here. Caught on something. There we go. Okay, I've just got it sitting in place like that. Now you can see, see it does not hinder any airflow or anything from the k &N. See how much room there is all the way around there? But now I'm still able to bolt the fairings and the side piece is back and it will be just as strong. Now the front, what I will use, I will actually use my Canyon panel panel that will go back in place but yeah, this really ain't going to do anything because everything's going to be coming through there and then this is the front cover this is the front cover that I modified a while back to get, kind of get kind of a ram air and the only reason why I'm using the panel filter is because these grooves right here well they got grooves cut out in here where these set so if I don't use the panel filter then this doesn't doesn't fit correctly so the panel filter is kind of sandwiched together I could cut all this out and reuse all that but I'm not because I mean it, it will still kind of otherwise then another thing without the panel filter you'll be able to see right in here and see all the ugly plastic and the uh, the writing and stuff from the factory. So I'm just going to put the panel filter back in. But I just wanted to show you 
how I am still reusing um, the filter housing so I can bolt my side panels back on and everything will be nice and tight. Otherwise, your fairings will flop in the wind. So, um, hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm doing. And then another thing, I went ahead and put me on a Kotaku oil cooler, which I already have the Kotaku um, cover on the side. So, I think I'm pretty happy about it. And then I just added the Power Commander 5. So anyway, but that was a big thing for me is the support for the fairings. So, um, thought maybe uh, you guys that are doing that, you could be doing the same thing or maybe help you out or whatever. So, anyway, happy motoring. Talk to you later. Thank you.